Now let's run and see, does it actually detects the face? And as you can see, it does detects. Hey guys, I hope you all are doing great. In this video I am gonna show you step by step, how to detect face, live, through your face cam. Make sure you stick around till the end of this video, so that you do not miss any important part in between. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Firstly, open your IDE. In my case it's Spider. You can use any IDE. As long as you follow the steps correctly, you are good to go. So let me select a folder by clicking on the folder icon from top right corner. Here I will create a new folder and rename it as Live Face Detection. Let's just open it and select the folder. Now that we have selected the folder, let's save the file inside that folder so that we can run it. Click on Save As. And rename the file as Live Face Detection.py. Now there is this link in the description below, just open it in any browser and this page will open. Then scroll down a bit and click on Heart Cascade Frontal Face Default. Then you'll be redirected to this page. Here click on RAW and this page will appear. Here press Ctrl plus A in order to select all and copy the selected text. Now get back to your IDE, create a new file, and paste the text that you've just selected. Then save this file by doing save as, and make sure you save this file inside the same folder where your Python file is stored, and rename this file as facedetector.xml. Basically, it's a pre-trained model that we are gonna use in order to detect face. Now close it, and come back to Python file. Now let's start writing the code. Firstly, import OpenCV library CV2 as CV. Then declare capture variable and access camera inside it, using method video capture, and pass zero as a parameter, which mean to access default camera, present in the system. This statement basically opens the camera with the help of which we are gonna detect face. Now let's access our pre-trained model that we just saved. So I will create a variable called pre-trained model and store it inside this variable with the help of cascade classifier method in OpenCV and pass the location of our pre-trained model as a parameter. Since we've saved it inside the same directory where our Python code is stored, so I'll just pass the name of a file as a string. Inside double quotes, face underscore detector dot xml. Now we'll use while loop in order to capture frames continuously from camera. So while true. Now we'll use read method in order to capture frames. Basically, read method returns two values, first value is boolean and second value is image that was captured. And if the image is captured, then boolean value will be true, otherwise it'll be false. So let's put the if condition to check whether the boolean value is true or not. If it's true, that means image was captured. So let's proceed further. Now, the pre-trained model that we are using can only detect face from grayscale image. So let's convert our captured image to grayscale with the help of CVT color method. Here we'll pass two parameters. First will be the frame itself, and second will be the color code to convert frame from BGR to grayscale, that is, cv.color, underscore, BGR2 gray. Now let's create a variable called coordinate list, in which we are gonna store the coordinates of detected face. So we'll use method called detect multiscale with pre-trained model, and here we'll pass three parameters. First parameter will be grayscale image, gray. Second will be, scale factor equals to 1.1. And third will be, minimum neighbors equals to 3. Basically this statement will return all the coordinates of face detected inside coordinate list. 
And remember, coordinate list is a list of tuples, containing x and y coordinates along with width and height of the rectangle, inside which the face is detected. So now let's draw this coordinates from coordinate list onto the frame. In order to draw this coordinates, we'll iterate through the coordinate list using for loop. And we'll draw coordinates with the help of cv.rectangle method from OpenCV. Here we'll pass frame as a first parameter, since we have to draw rectangle on frame itself. Then we'll pass x, comma, y as point 1. And x plus w, comma, y plus h as point 2. Then we'll pass the color. And at last, we are gonna pass thickness of rectangle as 2. Now let's display the detected face with the help of cv.im show method. Let's name the window as live face detection and then pass the frame as parameter. Now let's write the condition to break out of the while loop. So this block of statement will exit the while loop once we press X on our keyboard. That's it, once we came out of while, loop, release the capture in order to close the camera by using capture.release method. And at last destroy all windows. Now let's run and see, does it actually detects the face? And as you can see, it does detects. I hope you all like this video, if you did, then make sure you smash that like button, and if you are new to this channel, then consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss any further updates. I'll see you in another video until then, stay calm and keep coding.